You know, it, going from last night's game in Cleveland, where Harden was very candid in the post in his post game comments, saying that the defense had to improve. Going to tonight when he makes the biggest heads up play and, of the night, and, and that's the thing. So again, the defense is going to be an issue. This is a Miami team depleted. Number one, no Jimmy Butler here, no Tyler Hero. Last night they scored 81 points yeah. against Toronto. So this is on a back to back. They were in Tampa last night. They're flying all the way to Brooklyn. They put up 124 again. Again, the issue with the Nets is never going to be offensively. Look at the job Kyrie Irving did tonight. Kevin Durant, again, big numbers. James Harden, to me, still has to get a little bit more involved in terms of shooting the ball. It's not about what they do offensively. Bam Adebayo, once again, huge performance. But this was a Miami team. 81 points last night, tonight, 124. And you have to think Kyrie Irving's thinking about this, Frank. It has to be eating at him a little bit that they didn't have a win with him Good back call. in the lineup. And you had to sense that in that fourth quarter, he was showing out to get the win tonight. Yeah, and I think that probably had a lot to do also with that Instagram post that he had. <laughs> exactly. And it's not about Instagram posts. It's not about any battle with the media or the fans. It's about the, the fight on the court. And tonight, Kyrie Irving was outstanding, especially in that fourth quarter. When the Nets it. You know, you have a big win. You have a big lead against a depleted team. All of a sudden, they get back in the game. Guys can get tight. Kyrie Irving was not tight out there. He wanted the ball. He was making plays, doing it in a lot of different ways, getting to the basket, knocking down threes. When they needed him to be great, like they did a couple of weeks ago against Utah, he was great.